Welcome back to wonderful Chinatown London. In this video, we're going to be strolling around the streets in search of the perfect spots to try dim sum. Dim sum translates as to touch your heart, and these bite-sized small dishes are served for tea and eaten for breakfast or lunch. You can enjoy it from places such as dim sum parlors, street food vendors, to fine dining restaurants. The first stop on our tour is Plum Valley. Plum Valley is located in the heart of Chinatown and it's a family-run restaurant that's been handed down through the generations. It serves modern Cantonese cuisine in the setting of a tranquil, sleek and minimalist space and the dim sum selection is just sublime. First, the tea is poured. Now, tea is key to the dim sum experience and this is the first thing that will happen at your table. It's so important you'll often hear people say, let's go yum ta in Cantonese when they're referring to go for dim sum. But this actually translates to let's go and drink tea. So what do we find here on the table at Plum Valley? First, you can spot their renowned rainbow dim sum set featuring a colourful feast of steamed dumplings. Can you spot the hagao, one of the most popular dumplings in dim sum? This is a steamed translucent prawn dumpling and it's incredibly moorish and very hard to stop at just one. Another favourite on the menu here is the crispy roasted pork puff pastry filled with a sweet barbecue tassel roast pork. Finally, it's time for Plum Valley's version of the classic egg yolk custard lava bun. These are best enjoyed at the end of your meal for dessert. But be careful when you have this because you'll find the sweet buttery custard will come oozing out. Next up, we get a behind the scenes peek into the kitchen at Orient London to watch the masters at work. Watch as the chef creates the casing for the steamed dumplings. First, he makes the dough, then he hand rolls each dim sum wrapper, flattening it down with the edge of a knife into a perfect circular shape. The desired filling is then encased in this little parcel before being placed as steam in a bamboo steamer. Each basket is stacked on top of one another on top of a wok of simmering water. The steam then rises through the stack of baskets, cooking each dumpling within. Now, let's talk about the ordering process. Traditionally, when you're seated at your table, you'll be given a paper menu and a pencil so you can easily tick off the box of your chosen dim sum before handing the menu back to your server. When it comes to dim sum etiquette, tap two fingers on the table to say thank you when your tea is being poured, and remove the lid of the teapot to signal for a refill. On the table here, you can see Cheng Fun. Cheng Fun is a steamed sheet of rice noodles and fillings include king prawns or beef or fried dough or roast pork, and it's a must try for sure. You can also see some tarot croquettes here with some pork and crystal king prawn dumplings with black truffle and exo chilli sauce. Last but certainly not least, we have Dumplings Legend. As you enter the restaurant, you are met with a window to the dim sum kitchen where you can spy the masters at work. If you are considering a career in this, just remember that precision and patience is key because dim sum is definitely an art form. So what can we find here? First up, you can spot the master creating siu mai, another very popular dish in dim sum. It's a pork and shrimp dumpling with a pleated border and top of teeny tiny orange beads. Can you guess what they are? Yep, these are crab's row. Dumplings Legend is also extremely well known in Chinatown and the rest of London for their Xiaolong Bao, otherwise known as Shanghai soup dumplings filled with minced pork and other aromatics. There are various ways to eat this. The first option is to bite the top of the dumpling to let the steam escape. Pour a little bit of vinegar into it and slurp up some of the broth from the top. The last thing to do is to eat a dumpling and to enjoy the rest of the soup. However, what I like to do is to dip the whole thing in vinegar, add a slice of ginger at the top and eat it all in one go. But be very careful because it can be very, very hot when it's freshly steamed. You can also find some tassel bao. These are fluffy buns filled with sticky and juicy barbecued pork and lotus leaf wrapped glutinous rice with chicken and sausage. This is a really classic dim sum dish and the use of the steamed lotus leaf imparts an overall fragrant smell and flavour. Another popular dim sum classic is chicken feet. It may be slightly tricky to eat, but it's well worth a try. The juicy texture of the skin and tenders makes it delicious when right. To master how to eat them, treat it like a chicken wing. There are no muscles here, and the only thing you can't eat are the bones and claws. You can use a hand or chopsticks for grip and suck at the meat and then spit out the bones once you're finished. And the final thing, make sure you always ask for the dips when you have dim sum. I recommend chilli sauce, chilli oil and Worcestershire sauce. If seeing this has made you hungry, let's go and yum ta! Which restaurant will you try first in Chinatown, London? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future.